The second and third rounds of the NFL draft kick off here in, uh, on Denver 7 in just 30 minutes. And the Broncos will finally be on the clock, but not until the third round. Denver 7 sports anchor Nick Rothschild has a 360 look at what the Broncos need this season. The Sean Payton era has been bathed in silence thus far, but that's why I'm here. It's a great time for us to go 360, bring in some unique perspectives to try and figure out what the Broncos might do with their limited resources in this year's draft. Let's start our deep dive with my perspective. Everyone's got a big board, right? Kuiper's got one, McShay's got one. Now I've got one. Nick Rothschild's Denver 7 Broncos big board. Ah, it's a thing of beauty. Not much draft information on it, but hey, from what I found, draft information isn't always correct information. It was a little bit um, easier 15 years ago, 10 years ago. Um, the white noise wasn't as loud, and so I'm always, uh, you know, kind of charging our coaches and everyone involved, like, hey, tune out the, um, the noise outside. Sean Payton lives life on do not disturb. He hates noise, and I can see why. So those are the three positions I would look at, kind of wide receiver, linebacker, defensive end. We, we know one thing, they don't need wide receivers. Nobody knows anything. But alas, we've assembled a ragtag group of former players and media members to use our special 360 deductive powers and sniff out Peyton's plans for this draft. There's so many talented guys uh, that when I talk to these college kids, they're like, hey, I got a second, third round grade. I'm going pro. I'm like, you know how many second, third round grade guys got drafted in the seventh round? RG3 was the second overall pick in 2012 but he knows there are many diamonds in this rough. Like K.J. Wright, who was a fourth round pick and won a Super Bowl. And you can find undrafted guys to have a phenomenal career. It's all about hitting on the right guy. What's your formula? What are you looking to bring to your football team to help take your franchise to a new level? Okay, so who is this right guy for the new Broncos culture? We're gonna take the best player. You know, I think we, we were really aggressive in free agency. We wanted to fill as many holes with quality players that fit the prototype that fit uh, our culture as we could. They just happen to be on offense. Uh, we feel like we, we filled a lot, of, a lot of those holes, and now you know, we can draft the best player. That's interesting, but not specific enough. RG3, your thoughts? I think they need help at, at corner, center, and defensive line, and potentially even running back. Pass rushers, I mean, a guy like Will McDonald uh, from, from Iowa State, he was like a first-round pick. Uh, a few years ago and now they're talking about hey this guy might be available in the third and i'm like how my name is will mcdonald i like to jump over cars and i like to do extreme stuff one day you know i seen a car and i was like i wonder if i could jump over that and so i just went and did it probably one of my hardest ones but i did make it look easy ah, now that's more like it continue bolstering this denver d Wright certainly thinks that's the right approach. I would go defense, you know, had a phenomenal job last year, keep adding pieces to that puzzle. And I believe for the Broncos, it's, going to, it's been a really good offseason thus far. If I'm the Broncos, I'm scouring the nation for a linebacker that had 100 plus tackles the last three years in college, was a team captain, and has six foot size or above. But that's not the only route to glory. Broncos Super Bowl champ Ryan Harris thinks Sean Payton could air it out. With skill positions is what's going to pop out to me. I think you're going to get uh, either a speedy receiver who maybe had dropped a little lower than people thought, maybe had a second round grade that got into that third round. In summation, the Broncos could take a receiver, a linebacker, a running back, a lineman, or maybe somebody else. Who knows? You may have an idea in mind of who you'd like to get at that pick, but you don't know who's going to be there. Former first round pick Brad Hopkins summarizes Peyton's problem perfectly. Oh, we need to get an interior offensive line, maybe a linebacker. Oh my gosh, the receiver that we thought was going to go in the second round to sit right here for us, and we could actually use some depth. Now your draft's all blown out the window as far as what you intended to do. Hopefully, after all this, you feel better informed. Hopefully. Nick Rothschild, Denver 7 Sports. <laughs>